Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're tackling the common engine trouble code, PO346, which refers to a camshaft position sensor circuit range, performance on bank 2. If you've seen this code pop up on your OBD to scanner, don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to diagnose and fix it. So, let's break this down. The PO346 code is triggered when the engine control module ECM detects an issue with the signal from the camshaft position sensor on bank 2. This sensor helps monitor the position of the camshaft in relation to the crankshaft, which is essential for proper timing of the fuel injection and spark. Before we start swapping parts, let's confirm that the PO346 code is accurate by scanning the vehicle's system. I'm using my OBD to scanner to pull the diagnostic codes. Faulty camshaft position sensor, wiring issues, failed ECM, timing belt, chain problems, and all contamination. Check engine light. Poor engine performance, difficulty starting, increased fuel consumption, engine stalling, and engine misfire. A multimeter, OBD scanner, socket set, a replacement crankshaft or camshaft position sensor if needed. And don't forget safety gear, like gloves and goggles. First, we need to locate the crankshaft position sensor. It's usually near the bottom of the engine, close to the crankshaft pulley. Check your vehicle's repair manual if you're having before replacing anything, always check the sensor's wiring and connector, look for any loose, damaged, or corroded wires, and make sure the connector is seated properly, if you find any visible damage, you may just need to repair or replace the wiring, you will finding it. Now, let's check the sensor. Using your multimeter, test the resistance between the sensor terminals. A functioning sensor typically reads between 200 to 900 ohms. If your reading is outside this range, the sensor may be faulty. Locating the camshaft position sensor. Depending on your car model, the sensor can be found near the cylinder head or sometimes near the timing belt cover. Check your service manual to confirm. Next, we'll test the sensor to see if it's faulty. Unplug the sensor and check the wiring for any damage. Use a multimeter to check the sensor's resistance and voltage. Typically, the resistance should fall between a specified range. Check your car's manual for the exact values. If the sensor isn't within range, it's time to replace it. Once the new sensor is installed, clear the PO346 code using your OBD to scanner. Now, start the car and check if the engine runs smoothly. Take it for a test drive to ensure the problem is completely fixed. And there you have it. That's how you diagnose and fix a PO346 code. Remember to always double check your work and consult your vehicle's manual for specific details. If this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more DIY car repair tips. Thanks for watching.